Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite Mennonil Tarot. Thanks very much for joining our channel today. It's very much appreciated. I'm going to be doing a snippet of all 12 signs, see what's in store for you. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make the story fit if it's not your story. All right, who shall we, shall we start with the birthday people? Okay, let's start with Scorpio. What's in store for Scorpio? Okay, for some of you Scorpios out there, happy birthday, by the way. Um, I'm looking to choose a new direction. You're either thinking of moving home or up, or moving jobs, okay? Um, I do feel there is an end to a situation where you will be moving forward to some sort of happiness, okay? You've got somebody coming in to, to speak to you. Um, it could be regarding signing a contract, a collaboration of a few people, um, having a discussion um, and then making a decision to which direction you're going to go. I do feel you are going to put an end to something and you are going to start a new beginning. You will be happy with the direction that you're going to choose, Scorpio. Okay. Um, I feel like your finances are going to be okay. Wherever you are right now, you're feeling a little bit mentally tied and trapped. Okay. Whoever is around you is... Um, maybe got too much control. This could be a father figure. This could be also in your workplace, okay? I feel that the direction you're gonna go is gonna create a lot of stability for you and you'll be able to focus on your home and your finances and um, everything else. But I think where you are now, there's maybe been a destruction, um, a tower moment is coming in for you. Um, it's not happening against you, it's actually happening for you because maybe you're feeling, um, you know, mentally tied and trapped to, to where you were and unable to make a decision. But financially and everything else that you want, the relationship, if you don't have one, is coming in. If you do have one, it is going to be getting better. Um, there is going to be communication. There is going to be um, a lot that is coming forward your way, Scorpio. You have a love offer. You need to make plans here. Are you going to turn your back on a situation? There's somebody that you need to speak to or they need to speak to you. Communication is coming in within the next seven to eight days. I feel like this person is trying to make a head over heart decision to which direction they want to go towards. And I do feel they are coming towards you, Scorpio. Um, they see you as the empress, somebody who is wise, somebody who um, has a lot of knowledge, um, and somebody who is always rebirthing and, and coming up with new ideas and plans. And, um, you know, they see you as a person that is very logical. All right. Um, I do feel that um, there is going to be a repeated pattern. I don't feel it's with this person that's coming in, but more um, probably... Um, the reason why you're choosing to go in a new direction is because of repeated patterns, okay, Scorpio. But otherwise, you know, you're coming in as the high priestess, somebody who has a lot of knowledge. You could be very spiritual. The focus is going to be on your home and your finances, okay. The only thing that's missing out of your life is a person, and here is that person, okay. They're coming in to make you an offer, yeah, and an apology for taking so long to come in, all right, because you did feel left out in the cold a little bit, Scorpio. But um, otherwise, it's looking good and things are going to move forward for you, Scorpio, okay? All right, who do we have next is Sagittarius. Should have a few deck of cards when I do this. All right, Sagittarius, what's in store for you? Let's 
Sagittarius, if you're sitting there looking pretty and single, you're not going to be single for long. Somebody is coming towards you. Somebody who sees you as having everything that they desire and need. Um, I feel this person is making plans. I feel you too, Sagittarius, you could be making plans because you're feeling a little bit stuck, okay? Um, I feel like that you do want to have a relationship and there is one coming your way that is going to be very committed, okay? This person is thinking a lot. They're hoping the universe is going to guide them in the right direction, that they're making the right choice. Um, they do think about you a lot and they're trying to find their strength and courage to come towards you, okay? And I do feel Sagittarius, there you go, you've come up in your own reading. You are now taking charge of your life where you weren't prepared before to let anybody in. I think now you are going to allow yourself to, to date and meet people. This is a wish and a desire that you meet somebody that will give you an equal give and take. Anything else for Sagittarius? One more. Yeah. This person wants to... Oh, look at that. You put in a lot of work and effort. This could be in your workplace as well. You want to perfect something in your life. Um, there is going to be communication coming in within the next week or so. you got a beautiful offer for a brand new beginning, Sagittarius. And this is going to make you very, very happy. So whoever this person is coming in is actually very genuine. And, you know, in your workplace, I think that things are going to be moving forward, okay? Yeah, you, you're going to be able to plant seeds now, okay? Things are falling into place. No more Mr. or Mrs. Loneliness. This person is finally finding their strength and their courage to come towards you. All right, Sagittarius. All right. Capricorn. That didn't take long. Capricorn, I feel like you're going to set up boundaries around you, between you and people, okay? Um, you've got people around you that are keeping you mentally trapped and bound, and you, you're also playing into this game of being, you know, mentally trapped and bound. But you can come out of this by um, setting boundaries, um, not allowing them to interfere. Uh, you are thinking long and hard about something that's been taking a long time, um, to come into effect. You come up in your own reading, you know, being mentally t uh, tied and trapped to something and having attachments to, to people and things. Um, I do see you're going to move on to calmer waters, um, Capricorn. You're planning a new beginning, okay? Something's coming in probably in the new year that is going to you know, like you're going to begin all over again. Maybe a plan that you've been waiting on all year is finally able to move forward. Um, yeah, it's been a heavy burden this year. And um, I do feel that there is going to be some beautiful offers and, and a lot of happiness that is coming your way, okay? Um, if you were trapped to a person, you finally are going to be able to make the, the offer or they're going to make the offer. Um... I do feel in a way you need to be careful because this person does have, or you may have it, um, Capricorn toxic behavior or attachments or addictions, but um, it is a beautiful offer. It is going to come towards you. There's a lot of hard work and effort that's gonna to have to be put in, but there is happiness at the end of the day, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like you, you were not on the same page with this person once upon a time, all right? So now they're coming, they're choosing a direction. They want to make you an offer that's going to be legitimate, okay? Yeah. Things are going to be shown to you, things that were hidden. This person is going to apologize to you. They want to take a leap of faith, okay? Now, if this is you wanting to make changes in your life, it doesn't have to be with another person, but um, you need to take a leap of faith and release the heavy burdens and these people that are around you that are stopping you from moving forward. Um, I think you will eventually turn your back on them and, um, you know, start moving forward with it, with or without them, okay? Because you're looking for your happiness, you're looking for a relationship, you're looking for 
um, the companionship of somebody and you just want to be happy. But right now you feel like um, you've had to wait a long period of time for this, but it's finally coming in, okay? All right, who do we have next is Aquarius. Install for Aquarius. Thank you guys. Thank you. Let's install for Aquarius. Aquarius, I kind of feel like there's a father figure or a person that could be a fire sign that's around you. I feel that, you know, you feel like there's a bit of manipulation going on. Um, you are hurt by something uh, um, that has happened and, um, you know, I think you feel that this person has a bit of stinky behavior going on, okay? Now, you are coming out of feeling hurt. Um, this person may have apologized or you may have apologized to them. Maybe you're the one with the sneaky behavior, okay? But um, I do feel that you feel there's a bit of manipulation going on. And you need to make a head over heart decision what you want to do in this um, situation. This could be in your workplace. This could be in your home environment. You're feeling a bit of sorrow of loss and grief here. Wanting to turn your back on on a, on on people that um, that are not good for you, um, I do feel that um, that you will find out, and that will be your victory. You will find out some information. For a lot of you, it is in the workplace. A bit of manipulation going on. Things that are being kept from you. Um, when you do discover this stinky behavior and what is going on, it will upset you, okay? If this is in your relationship sector, um, then okay, it, it seems to be an ongoing cycle here, all right? Um, I think that you've put up with a lot over, over time that you've been with this person and maybe they put up a lot with you too and you realize that you're both not on the same page. But you've had a um, you've had a few a, a victory that worked in your favor, okay. And work wise, you were happy with the decision that you made, um, with the changes that you made within your work and everything like that. And you you kind of rebirthed the situation um, to to give yourself a new lease on life and to start a new beginning somewhere, okay. And I do see there was a lot of happiness and success. But you're coming in as the Empress, and the Empress is a very wise woman and or, or man. And um, you realize that somebody has a bit of toxic behavior. Somebody has attachment issues. Um, maybe you feel bound to this person, but, you know, you have the attachment issues. Um, but there is choices that is going to have to be made here. There's a head of the heart decision, okay, because I feel like, you know, it, it's... It's a very, you know, hard energy where there is a sense of happiness and things can change overnight and um, too much control, too much, yeah. Somebody is actually thinking about traveling for their nine of cups. Communication is going to come in soon. Something fast, okay? You might be traveling fast, unexpected travel. All right. Um, I do see that you want your wishes fulfilled. I think the grief and loss is over somebody that did have toxic behavior, right? And um, 
need to slow down. I said I need to slow down and then I've got this fast moving action coming in. It's like you're unable to slow down. Well, Aquarius, I think you need to slow down, okay? Um, everything I've felt that you have done in the past, say, seven months um, has been rushed, okay? Um, everything has been rushed. Everything has been um, planned very quickly. And although you're a very good planner and you're very proud of your actions, um, you miss something along the way, all right? Um, I don't know what it is that you missed exact, exactly because um, there was an opportunity for you. Whatever that opportunity was, it's going to be presented to you again. And if you accept this opportunity, it is going to make somebody feel a little bit left out in the cold. But you need to speak your truth, okay? Um, you have an opportunity to heal the situation, but... Uh, there is an upset coming your way, Aquarius, okay, because um, you keep doing what is good for you. Although you have tried to please other people, um, you're, you're now going to please yourself. And to please yourself means it's going to accept, upset other people, but you're going to have to make a decision here. You're going to communicate, all right? Your finances are going to be looking good, all right? What have we got at the bottom of the deck is emotionally... You're in your emotions, okay? You just don't know what to do. There's a sense of happiness, but I'm not happy. Um, I've got money coming in, but um, I'm not really happy with that either, okay? Um, yeah, where is it? It's, it? Look, I'm, I'm confused, so I'm guessing you're confused to what exactly you want to do, okay? Um, do I want to continue this cycle or do I want to put an end to it, okay? I'm, I'm feeling more hurt than I do happiness. I don't feel that something is real. I don't know. That, that's what I get. You don't feel it's real anymore. Uh, are we just together for the sake of being together? I'm missing my family. I'm missing my friends. Um, there's a lot going on inside you, Aquarius, and you, you're just going to have to make a decision on which direction you want to go, okay? I kind of feel like you need a full reading on this because you are all over the place all over the place trying to please too many people um, at the same time and you're going to make a decision to to please yourself but you know that that's going to upset the cradle it's going to create a lot of changes um, but you've got opportunities that are available to you and you may have to move for those opportunities you may have to um, make a decision between your job your family life um, it's 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 very very hard it's a hard decision all right aquarius who do we have next pisces okay pisces What do we have for Pisces? Pisces, I feel the will of fortune is going to favour you, okay? I feel like um, this is either husband and wife, a good pair, okay? Um, Pisces, your partner is coming towards you with some really good news. Something is coming to an end for them, for them and they're really happy about it. Something they're being patient with for a long period of time, okay? They're trying to... Do something different in their life, Pisces. They're trying to reinvent themselves. They're trying to um, make plans for the future, okay? This person is a very hard-working person, Pisces. 
They want to now come in after they finish to make you an offer. Okay. I feel like with, with this person, you, you battled this person before and you were feeling stuck. Okay. Um, I feel like you're going to be very happy with the offer that is coming in for you. Okay. This person wants to speak their truth to you. Uh, Pisces, they want to make you a beautiful offer for the future. Um, they see you as their, their perfect partner. They see you as somebody that, um, you know, they've kept you stuck for a little while and you've been patient even though that you've had to um, bear a lot of things along the way. But this person is, is finally completed. They may have been studying. They may have been abroad. They may have been away. But they were completing something and they're at a completion, okay? They're coming back, a return from your past. Um, they want to make you a beautiful offer, okay? Um, Pisces, they they want a brand new beginning, okay? This person is very passionate. They seem to have a lot of love and, and desire for you. Pisces, they, they really, really want to spend the rest of their life with you, okay? So um, if this is you, Pisces, and your person is coming towards you or you're going towards somebody, um... There's going to be communication. A very, very strong commitment is coming out of this, okay? This is the rest of your life person. Pisces. Nice. Okay, who do we have next is Aries. What do we have for Aries? Aries, you've been, you're going to be given a new opportunity handed by the hand of God, to be honest with you, okay? Um, there is something um, that you walked away from because there was no equal give and take and there was an ongoing situation, okay? You keep winning the battle, but you don't win the war. And I feel like you are now going to be given an opportunity, all right? Some of you may have been grieving a loss of somebody, um... But, um, Aries, you've got some decisions to make here, okay? I feel like for some of you, something that you thought you, you'd sorted out ended up repeating itself again. Aries, I... I uh, did I say Pisces before? Aries, look, you need to make a decision here, okay? What you want to do about a particular person. Are you going to continue the fight? Are you going to continue the battle? Or are you going to make a decision, okay? You need to heal from this situation because it's causing you rest sleepless nights. There is a, a resolution to all this, okay? I think you need to make a wish, really, you know, like... Um, ask, ask for things, I don't know, meditate, you know, put it out there, manifest um, that things can go right because I do feel that you need to go through healing. you got something that is coming in very quickly, um, Aries, and it is what to do with putting something to an end, all right? Now, uh, there is a meeting to have a discussion regarding this issue here, all right? Now, justice is going to be in your favour. I know I sound like I'm a bit slow, but um, justice is going to be in your favour. I feel like you're going to make an offer to this person, all right? Your intuition is telling you to make this offer because if you don't, you're going to continue to be hurt. All right? Now, you need con to take control of this situation. You're actually saying to this person, come here, I want to talk to you. This is what I want to offer you. And if you don't want to accept it, now, even though it's hurting you, you're trying to keep this person out of toxicity. All right? You're trying to stop this person from going in the wrong direction. You're at a crossroad with this person. You need to make a head-over-heart decision. 
because Aries, you, you're, you're hurting yourself. You're hurting yourself. Now, you're going to think long and hard and you're hoping that the universe will guide you. That too much work and effort has been put into this, okay? There's somebody you need to speak to, somebody you need to collab collaborate with and somebody that you need to make this one decision with, okay? Now, between you and this person, a decision will be made, okay? Now, if you're dealing with somebody young, I think both of you are going to speak their truth, your truth to this person, and you're going to give them a direction. Now, if they choose to make the direction, um, they can have a new beginning. If they don't choose to take that direction, they will be stuck and continue the cycle of what they're doing, okay? Now, I do feel that at the end of the day, that the decision will be made is to travel okay to calmer waters um or you may may be offering this person to travel okay returning to somebody from their past you feel like this person that is around you has got a lot of toxic and sneaky behavior and even though you've tried to help them no matter what you do they keep repeating the same pattern okay now if we're talking about a child then you need to have a discussion with the child's father on what you want to do with this child, okay? Uh, how we're going to stop this toxic behaviour, how we're going to put him in the right direction. The right direction is going to come by offering this child um, maybe a one-way ticket. <laughs> um, no, but uh, to go somewhere to experience life and to stand on their own two feet and to, um, you know go through the struggles that, that most people have to go through to get what they want, okay? And that's going to be their lesson in life, okay? Um, which saddens you to do that, but at the same time, you need a break. You need a break. You're, whole, you're handling too many issues. Um, it's playing havoc with your health. It's playing havoc with your mind. And unfortunately, you know, um, this child needs to learn the hard way, Aries, okay? Or this person it doesn't have to be a child it could be just a immature person okay um aries so i hope that that helps you aries okay who do we have next is taurus taurus is it taurus yes all right what do we have for taurus Taurus, you come out in your own reading at the bottom of the deck, Taurus. Your focus is on commitment. Your focus is on a certain person. I do feel that this person wants to talk to you and is going to try and um, bring you to to calmer waters by, you know, speaking to you maybe on a regular basis. All right. Um, this person wants to find happiness with you. You're going to find happiness as well. All right, you've got to focus on your home, your stability and your finances and you want to move forward. This person is planting seeds. They are planting seeds, okay? I think this person hurt you in the past that you feel like you didn't get your justice. They kept you feeling stuck. They went in a different direction. You were focusing on your job and your finances and maybe, you know, meeting somebody else and building yourself up. And bang, this person has come back in, rushing in. They want to make you an offer, okay? They felt like they um, they felt that maybe, you know, you they were worried that you would block them, that you wouldn't, um, um, you know, deal with them again. But th I think this person is willing to put in the hard work now, okay? I'm going to get very strong fire sign that wants to communicate with you Taurus okay but you're stuck you need to make a head over heart decision this person made you feel left out in the cold before but they're wanting a new beginning with you Taurus and um, there is happiness and success the possibility of having a child okay uh, but you're really really worried about the tower moment okay you're so much in your head whether you want to go back to this person or not okay 
but I do see that they, you know, maybe they're going to pull back their energy a little bit because they've come in so quickly. Um, they might pull back their energy a little bit, but at the end of the day, um, you know, truth and clarity is going to be spoken, Taurus, and I kind of feel that you will choose a, a, a direction on which way you want to go. You do have feelings for this person. You would like to have a future with this person, um, but you need to set boundaries, okay? This person rushes in, and as quick as they come in, as quick as they leave, Taurus, okay? But there's a new beginning. There's a partnership that is coming in. This person wants to thank you and offer. It is going to be genuine this time. Um, you know, look slow and steady will win the race. Don't let this person rush in too quickly into your life. Um, they um, they tend to, to to rush in and and get what they want, and then they they're not really sure whether they made the right decision or not. Okay, so um, if this is a, a male um, fire sign and a female. Taurus, then they need to date you. Keep keep them on a date, okay? Don't let them in too quickly. Oh, wow. I pulled out a lot of cards for you. All right. Who do we have left? Uh, next is Gemini. Gemini, you're questioning things, okay? You've got your home, your stability, your finances to be looked at here, okay? Um, very hurt in that environment, okay? And I think you feel that you need to protect yourself for some reason, okay? Um, Gemini, look, you will come out of this hurt. You will um, rebuild yourself. You will, you know, find yourself a place to, to live. Maybe where you are at the moment, there's too much hurt. Um, you feel that somebody has flighty energy around you, that you were going to receive some news, okay? Um, maybe you traveled to see this person. And after traveling to see this person, you felt hurt by what you saw or, or the conversation that you had. But you are going to turn your back, okay? You are going to leave what no longer serves you because you know it's playing havoc with you. Now, either you're dealing with the Leo or you're going to find your strength and courage. I feel like this person wants to rush back and offer you a brand new beginning. Um, but you kind of feel like, oh God, <laughs> cards are everywhere. Look. You're quite willing to have the conversation with this person, but you know this person has got repeated patterns, okay? Um, every time you feel like you fix this situation, um, it, it comes back to haunt you again, and it just keeps getting worse, okay? Um, because you've got the Nine of Swords or the Ten of Swords in your back, and um, he can't hurt you anymore after that. That's done. It's done, okay? Um, you're going to move on to Karma Waters. You're going to find your happiness. There's a new home coming in for you, a new love love offer, and you are coming in as single Gemini, okay? Let's go one more. Justice is going to be in your favor, Gemini, okay? Um, so if you want to leave this situation, um, leave it. Don't be in fear because things are going to work out nicely for you. If you stay where you are, it's just going to keep repeating all the time the same thing over and over and over. Okay, Gemini? So don't be afraid to make the, the change. All right, who do we have next is Cancer. Hope you don't get the pregnant woman, Cancer. You always, always end up with the pregnancy somewhere.
And so I feel like, um, well, the universe is going to give you all the all the um, tools that you need to be able to, um, you know, speak up regarding a situation. I do feel that you are dealing with somebody who has very high intuition, or you're the you're the person with very high intuition. All right. Now there was a sense of happiness that you had with this high priestess. You, Like, I kind of feel cancer that you want to return to somebody to give another try with, okay? Now, this person that you're dealing with, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, you could be dealing with a, oh, well, anybody really at this at this stage, okay? There you go. You'll always get the Empress card. All right, cancer, okay, so you've had this heavy burden that's been placed on you, Okay. You opted for a new beginning. You found somebody where you had happiness, success, and everything like that, okay? Uh, but over time, I think you found this person quite controlling, right? Um, and, it, and it was like, you know, whatever you did, you were always questioned. This person didn't have enough trust in you, all right? And you're now questioning this person and their actions to uh, why they feel the need to constantly control you all the time. You like your freedom, Cancer, okay? I do feel that you will find your strength and courage to be able to deal with this. And I do feel that you will find a way to release this heavy burden, okay? Um, you're going to be looking at your options. At the moment, you're a little bit confused, but you've got the world card, which means that, um, well, you could be putting an end to this because of arguments and um, not being able to be on the same page, okay? Choosing a new direction. Um, I feel you're going to turn your back on this situation. You're going to find yourself a new home. All right. Communication, victory. Okay. You're going to be speaking to somebody who's going to guide you and direct you in a new, um, in a new, blah, blah, blah. I can't get my words out today. New direction. And um, that's going to be your victory to, to go find your freedom, let go of this person who is controlling you. Um, that you're never right in anything that you do, Cancer. They're just constantly telling you it's your fault. Um, you're going to turn your back on this person regardless. Um, I feel like you were there helping this person um, to stand on their feet or they were not well. I, I'm not really sure of the situation, but something to do with you looking after this person and, and you've had enough. You've had enough because it's it's um, it stopped you from having a life by being with this person. So um, there's, there's an argument coming your way that's going to make you decide, I've had enough, I want out, okay? Cancer, but you'll be happy in the direction that you're going. Don't look back. Right, who do we have next is... Leah? Leo, what's in store for Leo? What's in store for Leo? Just a reminder that the reading will not resonate with everybody, so please only take the tools and leave the rest, okay? All right, what's in store for Leo? What's in store for Leo? I feel like you need to make a, um, a couple of decisions in your life, okay? Um, I feel like you are, well, you're not quite stuck, but you're feeling stuck, okay? But you're not really stuck. It's just time out to um, sort of like to make decisions on which direction you want to go. I do feel you want to take a leap of faith, um, 
uh, Leo and maybe start a, in a new direction, okay? Um, I feel that you want to replenish your finances, okay? Now, the thing is with this replenishing your finances is that... Um, usually comes in as a card of somebody who's single so maybe you're waiting to replenish your finances maybe you're tied to somebody else but when you have enough finances and you've got a steady income coming in that you will become single because I feel like it presently that the person that you chose the person that you chose to be with um, they they are giving you sleepless nights okay you feel I feel like there's there's an ongoing battle that is going on that keeps repeating itself. No matter how much you talk, no matter what you say, no matter um, how you think that you've sorted this out, this person has a way of just coming back and repeating a pattern again. And now you're trying to question, you're questioning how long can I put up with this for? Okay. Now I do feel that this person, some news is coming in fast for them. Okay, and they're going to have to make a decision too on what they want to do. But Leo, I feel like you are going to um, choose a new direction and work out your finances and eventually turn your back on a situation. Okay, um, it is a reluctant leave because you were hoping that this was going to be um, something that you're going to be or a person you're going to be with for the rest of your life, really. I feel like there's a couple of cards here. Okay. All right. I'll take them. Yeah, judgment, Leo. You need to make a decision. All right. I think your decision is that when you find your strength and courage, when your business or, or your job improves, when there's an equal give and take, because right now there's no equal give and take here, all right, you will put an end to this situation. You will move forward. You will have a new beginning. You're coming in as the um, high priestess, somebody who has um, very high intuition. You want a home where you're going to be happy. You're looking, you're searching for your Nine of Cups. You will be making an offer to somebody or somebody else, okay? You need to be patient, Leo, okay? Let the universe guide you. Um, your money is going to be good. It's just going to be slow coming in, but give it a year. And, um, you know, you'll be able to move forward very comfortable in life. You'll be happy, okay? Right now, presently, whatever situation is going on with this partner of yours, you're willing to give it one more one more time. But you are hurt. You are hurt and you are hurting in silence. I feel like you're hurting in silence that you can't really speak up. You can't say what's really going on with you. But there's a, a few things around you that bring you joy, that bring you happiness. Um, and, um, you know, you're just going to have to continue this journey until your money is there. But you know what? Sometimes to wait on the money to come in is, is actually a ridiculous thing because, um, you know, you can move quicker and faster when you throw yourself into the fire. The environment that you're in, I kind of feel like, does not serve you. Anyway, work it out, Leo. Who have we got next? Virgo? What have we got for Virgo? Virgo, you're making plans. Something that you put a lot of thought into. You may be feeling like you need to travel or maybe move house. You're carrying a heavy burden at the moment. You need to make some plans on, on how to um, release these heavy burdens, okay? Now, if your house is up for sale, there will be an offer that is coming your way that is a quite a good potential offer, all right? And I feel that if you accept this offer, it gives you a brand new beginning uh, and you'll be able to make plans to be able to move forward. I feel like you've been waiting a long time for this offer to come in. Now when it comes in, you'll be able to make some plans. You'll be able to move forward, okay? Um, 
if this is the family home and there's been a separation, then, um, you know, you're separated over quarrels. You could not get on the same page with this person. All right, so now you're coming in as single. But um, you are going to be able to choose a direction that is going to make you very happy and you will be victorious. So um, I do feel like it's, it's based around um, a joint finance or joint position between you and, and an ex-partner or soon to be ex-partner or or family home okay but the offer is finally coming in you will be able to turn your back on that situation you will be able to make plans now and it will be a happy happy event okay the victory will be yours justice will be in your favor as well okay um virgo so you know don't lose sleep over it it'll work out Oh, who do we have left is Libra. All right, Libra, I think you're the last one. All right, what have we got in store for Libra? Libra, I feel like truth and clarity has been um, produced, okay? Um, you've seen it, you've heard it, and, um, you know, you're dealing with it, okay? Um, it is going to be produced to you even if you don't, okay? There's been an issue regarding somebody from your past, somebody who wanted to have a brand new beginning, all right? Um, they wanted to have a partnership with you. They wanted marriage with you. Libra, uh, what I'm getting here is that somebody that you know, it is someone that you know, um, it's coming up as the past, but the past is five minutes ago, two minutes ago, one minute ago. All right, so there was somebody who wanted to make you an offer, Libra, an offer of, of, of love, a, a partnership, a, a very, very strong, strong commitment, okay? But unfortunately, you found out some truth about this person, all right? And the truth you found out was very disappointing because it did hurt you. And for a while, it kept you mentally tied and trapped. All right. Now, I do feel that um, you made a decision to take a leap of faith elsewhere, but this person does not stop. So keeps com coming in and making you this offer. They don't realize how much that of, of a hurt that they created for you. Okay. And... Um, I do feel that, you know, you're having sleepless nights over this, but you are coming out of it. There's the world. It's coming to an end. You need to be patient, Libra. Do not rush back to this person because they're really going to hurt you again, all right? They are meeting up with somebody from their past, somebody that they know that they're going to start a passionate new beginning with and offer a partnership to them, all right? So um, I feel like you're, you're, you are single at the moment. But you have a beautiful new offer that is coming in. Much better than any offer that you've had before, okay? Um, this is brand new. This is beautiful. This is this is the Ace of Cups, okay? Um, somebody who's got their eye on you, they're going to find out you're single. And as soon as they find out, they're going to come rushing in with a love offer. They have a very close emotional tie to you. And the universe is guiding them towards you, okay? Um, I do feel that there will be a happy home with this person. You know, you may meet them at an event, at a celebration of some sort, but I feel that you and this person will live together and there will be an equal give and take and there's your victory, Libra. Okay, so don't lose hope about over this. The leap of faith that you took to move away from that relationship that you had is actually going to pay off big time. So look at that, you know, 
there's your partnership that is coming in, the, the event, the gala, the universe that is guiding you for somebody with an equal give and take, that, you know, emotional connection, the beautiful offer, two beautiful offers, okay? Start your new beginning, Libra. Forget about this person from the past. They, they're um, grasping at straws now with anybody that they had a previous relationship before that will accept them back, okay? So, Libra, move on. Move on and count your blessings, okay? All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and it made sense to you, or resonated with you. Um, I'm going to be doing the monthly November reading, so stay tuned for that. And uh, take care, God bless, and see you next time. Bye for now.